The Acolyte episode six took an interesting turn as surprisingly, there is one aspect of the show that I'm somewhat interested in now. I really liked Soul going into this episode. But I think after this episode, I'm no longer as interested as I was in Soul. He's become dumb. But what honestly I really liked about this episode was the dynamic between Kimir and Osha. I actually found myself really enjoying their moments. And whenever they were off screen, I was really hoping they would come back on screen soon because they're relationship and dialogue felt a lot more natural than the other parts of the show, especially between Kimir and May. And I'm kind of digging it. Not the show, just those two. The rest of the show still isn't great. I mean, not much happened in this episode. There's was probably about five to ten minutes of stuff I actually liked. Again, just those two together, because I like... I'm liking Kimir. How I feel about this show is very similar to how I felt about Marvel Phase 5. They had some really good villains, but the main characters sucked, writing sucked, everything else about the show was bad except for the villain. I'm kind of feeling that here because I really like what he's going for. I like his dialogue and I like the presence that he has. I think the actor is doing a really great job with it. And I liked how he's giving Osha a choice and she is still choosing the choices that she's making because she's at least curious. And I find myself sympathizing with the villain a little bit. I mean, who doesn't want to be free? Yeah, I mean, I'm going to start with what I liked. I did like the scenes between Osha and Kamir. I did like that. I almost thought it was that Octo planet. Yeah, uh, from from the sequel trilogy, it still may be that planet. I don't know. It's, it does say unknown planet. And I'm kind of curious as to why they put unknown planet, because they've named all the other planets. I, I do like again, anytime I could get to see the, the Jedi Temple, I like it. I just like seeing different hallways and, and aspects and, and views of the Jedi Temple. But that's it, man. I mean, I would agree. Yeah. I, I was I was bored to I and I hate saying this. I, I genuinely do hate this. Hate saying this. Because I wanted to like it. After last week's episode, and we've been teased with the purple whip lightsaber thing, which I was going to hate, but I hate it now even more because she just killed a bug with it. It was so useless. It was there for less than a second. Had she used it to get into a fight with Kamir, I I I was still not gonna like lightsaber whip, but I would have at least liked the fight. Yeah. She literally it was it was clickbait. She literally just used it to kill a stupid bug. That was so lame. I mean, I for everybody to complain about how Boba Fett ate it at the end of you know, well, at the beginning of Return of the Jedi, this was way lamer, man. Mm -hmm. Even F Captain Phasma was more intriguing than that. She just. Maybe she'll use it again in the next episode. Who knows? And then I will just shut the hell up about it. But this this was lame. As Griff said, the Jedi that I found intriguing, which is Saul, I thought was just boring as hell in this episode. The way he captures May, kind of. But the it's just the dialogue. And then and then that scene where like that little robot and that little gerbil thing are like after the pit, May. Yeah. Ah, that, I think was, that was cringy as like, all hell one thing i liked about last episode is we we knew about the switch between the characters it was obvious we we saw it, we knew it and one thing that was i thought was very important and was a key thing was throughout the entire show soul always said osha's name but in last episode at the end when may and osha switched he never said her name so i thought it's pretty obvious that that he knows and it's just a clever way of going about it to get her on board and to further his agenda. But in this episode, that all went out the window because he said Osha's name in every line. I'm still inclined to believe he knew it was May, but I just like the clever writing where he never calls her Osha. And that kind of went out the window very quickly, and that was disappointing. I also... So I guess the tracker is also on the Jedi's payroll, considering he has his own tunnels he walks through throughout the ship, which is also a bit disappointing. And then 
Valestra. The, again, I've said it before, the character design is just so lazy. Out of all of these grand creatures and all of these fantastically designed characters, even in this show, they're still designed well for like the wardrobe and the, and the looks of all of them. She's just CGI green. And what pains me, me the most is the fact that I was afraid that this episode wouldn't live up to it. Oh, we knew it wasn't going to live up we, to it. Well, that's that, but that was my fear. That, that because yeah. I, I didn't hate. And if you guys go back and watch our review for last week's episode, I didn't hate it. I, I, I didn't think it was the best thing, but I didn't hate it. And my fear was go up, don't go down. Don't, it, I can honestly say that in my humble opinion, this episode's worse than last week's. This, oh, easily. Last week's, this, we're, we're, we're back to, and we've got two episodes left. So, I mean, as we said with Percy Jackson, we're at a point where you've got only two episodes left. Can you make us like the show in two episodes? Because you haven't thus far. So can yeah. you do it with two? I didn't think this episode dropped nearly as far as I thought. It but didn't I'm drop thinking... that far, but it just made it as as no, you're right. bad as the beginning ones. And it, I don't you know if I'll say it was as bad, but I think the next two episodes are going to be. So here's what we need to have happen in the next two episodes. This is we're going to finally get the resolution of what happened on May and Osha's home planet. Have that probably... better be really cool. Ah, it's it better not be lame. I'm willing to bet money it's gonna be lame. We're probably going to have the return of their mother at like the ending episode for something to tease season two that will likely never happen. And then we'll get a fight between Kimir and Osha versus probably May and Soul. The fights are going to be good, but I don't think anything else will. And I'm worried. Do you think Osha's turning dark side? Because if they pull I that Osha they, goes dark side and May goes light side on this. I think man. that's what they're leaning towards. I don't think they may go completely like Osha's 100% dark side user, May is 100% uh, Jedi user. I think they're going to do something very similar to how they were when they were brought up where the force is a tool, it's more how you use it. And they're not really good. They're going to be in between. I think the next few episodes, Osha is going to get a bit of a power up. She's going to learn how to tap into her emotions. I don't think she's going to go nearly as far as Kimir, but she's definitely not going to be on the side of the Jedi. She's going to be on her own neutral, like gray, not not even close, not even like a gray Jedi, but just a neutral force user. I'm hoping they don't kill Kimir off because again, I do like him, but I also don't see any of the storyline continuing or them even going back to this section of time, which is extremely disappointing considering the high Republic's amazing. When done, right? Yeah. When done, right. And they still can, but the... what do you think is going to happen? And let us know in the comments, what you think is going to happen in the next couple episodes. The director, producer, creator of the show. Um, she wants to do a Knights of the old Republic mm. show or movie. Based on what we've seen thus far of the Acolyte, I don't want her touching Knights of the Old Republic. Yeah, she's proven that she can have a an okay concept. I'll give her that. Like This on pitch could have some legs, but I think the execution is just really bad. Bad script writing, bad dialogue. They did really well with the choreography, but if they... If that they do want to continue with her, I think they need to bring someone else in as well. Especially since now we have Dave Filoni as the chief creative officer. I think if he's able to insert some of his ideas and his style into it, it won't be the worst, but it's certainly not going to be the best. I think it'd just be safe just to move away from her. I mean, she's already trying to sue Disney because she's not getting her season two. And usually, I thought she was getting, I thought, I thought she was getting the season two. It doesn't look like that anymore. There's there's I hope not. very and plausible again, rumors that it's been canceled and that she's going to sue Disney. And this is just my opinion, but usually I don't want to be in business and hire people who just tried to sue me. I know they they dropped Scarlett Johansson afterwards. She was likely never going to continue. But do you really want to work with someone who just tried to sue you for millions of dollars? Yeah, I I I don't know, man. Uh, I. 
look, I hope that next week we're telling you that the next episode blew us out of the water. Um, hopefully yeah, well, the last two are really, really good and they're good enough to, to save the show. Um, but I don't know, man. I don't know. This, this one was, I told Griff, it, it, it bored me. It was just boring. Yeah. I am still interested in going back and rewatching the show closer than every week because Edward and I always tend to rewatch Star Wars and we'll probably watch this rewatch the show at least one more time. So I'm curious going into it with the lower expectations, expecting the bad dialogue, if we'll think it's at least a little bit better. We'll see. I mean, we got two more episodes. I'm at least curious enough and I enjoy the villain enough to want to continue. But my hopes are I don't have any. Yeah, I agree. Thank you guys for watching. If you like fun, entertaining fights, go check out our Who Would Win Homelander versus Superman, where we talk about and definitively prove who wins between the Homelander from the boys and Superman from DC Comics. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Take care, guys, and happy 4th of July weekend.